Zeke and I got to change the sprinklers and check on some of our travel spots that we're really hoping our new Agrimax system has helped to improve. You'll have to forgive some of the shots that are turned wrong. I've been creating content for YouTube uh, shorts and Instagram and my tired brain kept getting things mixed up, um, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. We have really hard water here with really heavy lime. And so that's one of the things we're hoping the Agrimax system will prevent this stuff from building up on our pipes um, in the future. Are you gonna go Bucky? There he goes. This end has these double rainbirds and I can't remember why I'll have to ask Chris, but it um, usually pools, the water usually pools up on the ground here. The surface tension of the water is now broken with the Agrimax system and so it's soaking into the ground completely now. What'd we do, buddy? I, I accidentally forgot about this post. <laughs> it got stuck into the ground a lot. Oh, so we need mommy's muscles? Do you think mommy's muscles are going to be strong enough to help? Both of us. Oh, together? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hey, muscles, ready? You pull. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, we sure went in there. Not we sure made a mistake on that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how's it go? That end right there. And the ground. And you put pressure on it so that it won't tip over. And that keeps it from moving and rolling in our strong south winds that we get. But if you forget it just pushes it and pushes it in the wet soil and goes down, down, yeah, down, down, down. Right, right, got it. Yep. From there to here. <laughs> oh, so we'll try to remember better next time, right? Yep. Because everybody makes mistakes. Yep. Usually we tie them up to the wheel to go, or we'll just walk it and lay it back on the ground. But that's what we're supposed to do. supposed to go. This uh, where the alfalfa has turned yellow means that it's got too much water. We made the decision to overwater this and I'll explain why in a second but we were so excited about the change that the Agrimax system did to what the results that we thought we were going to get. This is a low spot where the water kind of tends to settle and so we kind of expected it there. Um, it's happened before at other times but with how long the sprinklers were on this patch back and forth and back and forth. We expected it to have it be all throughout, but it really didn't happen on this half where it's uphill more. Um, and so, but with how much we were watering it, we really expected that yellowing to happen all over these four, actually it was only three, three risers that just kept going back and forth and back and forth on. We figured that the damage to the crop, the overwatering with the yellow, it repairs itself quite quickly. And so we figured that going backwards in the crop was lesser of two evils. And so we chose to just keep going back and forth on those risers um, because the recharging the soil with all the wonderful nutrients that are in the, it, that's in the creek water off of the mountain is so good for the soil that we decided it would be better to stress the crop out a little bit with overwatering so that we were recharging the soil with the nutrients and minerals that the creek water provides.